Today I will show you how to make a portable and fully customizable wallet multi-tool. To get started, you will need this template I have made for you, which you can get from my website by clicking on the button above. Once you have it, print it off and cut it out. Don't worry about missing a few lines, because fine tuning will be done with the Dremel or sanding tool. The overall size of the multi-tool is just over 3 inches long and 2 inches wide. You are also going to need stainless steel, which I cut out from a scrap serving tray which I had laying around. It is recommended to be at least 1 16th inch thick. Now glue down the cutout template onto the steel sheet. This is temporary, so do not worry about too much detail. And press it down flat for proper adhesion. Next, you can use either tin snips or some sort of rotary tool. This will be used to cut out the excess metal around the template. Again, these cuts are rough, so don't stress out on detail just yet. Now to make sure the plate doesn't go anywhere, clamp it down and grab your rotary tool and cut out the main design. This is where this project is very customizable because anyone can make any sort of shape they want. Once it's cut out, use a sanding attachment to grind away any rough edges. Now for the tricky part. The beer bottle opener is going to be bent perpendicular to the plate so that this way you have room to cut out the inside square. A vise or some sort of pliers can be used to help you along with this. To make this easier, cut off small cuts from each side so that you can narrow down the small square in the middle. Finish it off by doing two more cuts from the top. Once everything is cut out, you can hammer out all the bumps and ridges to make everything smooth and flat again. Again, more sanding to remove rough edges. Now this is the most difficult part. You need to cut angled cuts on the base plate to form cutting teeth for your portable saw. This must be done slowly to ensure proper cutting teeth are made. Now before we paint the multi-tool, you will need to use either acetone or nail polish remover to dissolve any glue residue. This will ensure the surface is nice and clean before spray painting. For my multi-tool, I use gloss black. However, you can use whatever paint you like. Once the paint's dry, you can go over on the bench grinder and grind down each and every single tooth. This will help make a nice shiny design along the bladed edges. Now to create the built-in ruler grid lines, you'll just need another ruler and a basic Dremel tool. The Dremel tool will be used for marking off the lines and making sure everything's nice and precise. Now remember, this will be your portable ruler so you don't want to mess up on this part. Take your time and go over nice and slowly. You have just made yourself a super cheap and very useful multi-tool which you can carry around with you in your wallet. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. Also check out my website by clicking on the orange button above. To help support Paul Pyro, please share this video on Facebook.